So any item which has been defined in the system that should be defined in the master and after that we are going for respect to inventory organization, right? So let us do F11 and control F11. I want to see all the items. So let me take one item. Okay, this is the item. Whether this item should be considered for counting or not, that will be decided from the organization items in which organization we are going to work. So my organization is this. Okay, let it be. Then go to org attributes. This is called organization item in which you are going to the inventory. Here, cycle counted enable. If you enable this, this is meant for counting. That's it. When you enable for counting, it is considered for counting. All type, all type of countings will be allowed for this item. In case you are disabling, physical counting or cycle counting will not consider this item for counting procedure. That's it. So you enable all these all the items which are defined in the item master and having different organization access. And in which organization you want to enable, in which organization you want to disable, you have to go to the organization attributes, come to the respect to organization item. So then you have to make sure this cycle count is enabled or not. If you don't want to consider this item for counting procedure, disable this. If you want to consider this item for cycle counting, it is very important point. If this is the one particular issue, like in real time, what happens? Somebody says, my counting procedure has been initiated, but cycle counting has been initiated, but this item is not getting considered for this counting procedure. Why? The counting procedure is not considering this item. Why? Because it is not at all defined in the organization to be followed with counting procedure. So that is the reason that might have disabled. This might have disabled the due to which it's not letting us to count. So that's it. It is very it is very important point. This checkbox is very important. So if you are not getting your counting you are not your counting procedure whether physical or cycle counting is not considering this item that means you have to query the item master and go to organization attributes there you have to make sure this checkbox is enabled or not if it is enabled it is considered if it is disabled it is not considered for counting that's it next question thank you sir Okay, now cycle count. I told you yesterday, first of all, for cycle counting, you should have the ABC analysis. What is ABC analysis? I discussed already. What is ABC classification? ABC classification is nothing but classifying the items into different classes, and each class is having high value or medium value or least value items or importance based on the importance, based on the transaction history, based on the values costliest items should be considered for a class it's up to you that means your criteria is based on the value of the item in case you are not considering the value but uses the one the item which has been used more number of transaction within a month the item which is having more number of transactions within a month so that will be treated as a class yes it's it's up to you even though item cost is very less still the item is very important i have given the example of pairing and gearbox we okay, just wait for a while somebody has come okay now before going to the cycle counting physical counting it is very simple it is one-time activity you go to the say physical accounting you create physical inventory so you generate the tags and for each tag so what is the item you are assigning to the tag and you will count the tags then after that you go for approvals of that particular counts so whatever the count you want to approve or reject it's up to you and based on that while launching the physical count uh, that will ask you the adjustment account that account will be having the whether positive or it can be positive or negative impact it depends upon the whether you are decreasing the item quantity or increasing the item quantity after counting physically so that is what it is very simple physical counting is very simple Whereas cycle counting, it is very complicated one. In the cycle count, we have, first of all, items to be classified. Items to be classified as A class, B class, C class, or D class, whatever it may be. It doesn't mean that ABC class meant for only three classes. A, B, C, no. The name itself 
it has been given as ABC analysis. It doesn't mean that we should have only ABC. You can have n number of classes. It's not only A to Z. You can have new alphanumerical, numerical, or, or anything. Whatever the name you want to give, you can give. And you can add items. What are the items to be considered? And there is a procedure to be considered. To be considered, all the items can be considered, or some can, some items can be considered, or sub sub inventories items can can be considered. So all such kind of so simply, I will I will try to explain again whatever we discussed yesterday. So first of all, you have to go for ABC analysis. In the ABC codes, we have ABC compiles and ABC compile. If you open the form, I want to go ahead with the new. So it's it's very simple. ABC compile. You have to give something. <clears throat> you have to give something you have to give the name then description you are going to consider this abc compile meant for only one particular sub inventory or entire organization you know the structure of organizations right from topmost organization to low level the topmost organization is business group then we have ledgers and in each ledger we have legal entities legal entities are having operating units operating units are having inventory organizations inventory organizations are having sub inventories as sub inventories are having locators locators are having row rag bin we know the structure now we are talking about organization level and sub inventory organization means which is consisting of all the sub inventories so when you consider organization it is going to consider all the sub inventories so it won't ask you which sub inventory to be considered we are not specific to sub inventory because we are going for organization means all the sub inventories are important for me when you go for sub inventory it will ask you the specific sub inventory to be entered that's it when you go for specific sub inventory you have to enter specific sub inventory and counting will be initiated for only that sub inventory the items which are existing in that sub inventory are considered so no more items that item might be some items might be considered uh, i mean existing in other sub inventories but we are least bothered about that when you go for sub inventory so organization means all the sub inventories to, should be considered that is the one so if you go for organization it is the broad spectrum of that particular sub inventories so it's not only one sub inventory all the sub inventories okay now Valuation scope, I told you valuation, it is all about the item cost related and what are the valuation like credit or debit or accounting entries or whatever it may be. That should be happened at organization level or sub inventor level. It is basically organization level. Now criteria, we had told, I told you the criteria, we have different criteria. These are all criteria based on, you know, I told you based on item usage, item history, item usage history or the value of the item that dip, that decides the, whether the item is important or not so if you go for current on hand value current on hand value you can see somewhere current on hand value or current on hand quantity the one which is having more number of items i want i want to treat it as a class the one which is having high value of the item then that item is going to be a class item it's up to you if you are giving importance to value are you giving the importance to the more number of items it's up to you that is what criteria i have given the importance to on hand value the one which is having more value in the inventory that should be considered as a class item it's simple now i have selected and after that i have gone to gone for compile before compile take this name whatever the name i have given to the notepad okay Here I given the notepad. Given taken to notepad. This is the name, and I am going to compile. When you compile, a concurrent request will be running. When you click OK, again one more message. Print, print compile results. Yes, print compile results. If you if you put no, what happens? You know, descending value report will not run. You have to run manually for this compile. Okay. So if you put yes, descending value report automatically runs. What is the descending value report? concurrent request another concurrent request two requests might be running let us see view request and find you can see two requests are running and the first one the first message is meant for this request second message meant for this request but this report is very important it is enter your question what are the 
reports running at the time of compile compile abc analysis and the second report based on the decision you have taken print or print the results yes if you select that and it will run the abc descending value report and the purpose of this abc descending value report is it's very simple we have selected the current scenario is current on hand value means the item which is having more value should top, come on top and the one which is having low value should come on bottom so that means you are going to assign you are going to arrange the all the item values which is highest and on is coming on top that means gradually it is decreasing that means you are going to arrange in a sequence that is called descending so descending value report that's it what is ascending and descending so you have 10 numbers 1 to 10 if you want to arrange in a descending manner then 10 to 1 if it is ascending manner then 1 to 10 that's it it is very simple so this is what descending value report will be running the moment it is completed you can see the output tools copy file it will open in the browser so here you can see see the compile values you know it is based on the values it has been the one which is coming on top will be having high value this value you are getting from the quantity multiplied by the unit cost totally this is the value existing in the inventory so when you have the value in this much so it has been considered and these are the items arranged and remaining items are having zero quantity so quantity multiplied by unit cost becomes zero so you can see compile values up to here and after that zeros only then cumulative value how the cumulative values are calculated this plus this becomes this okay and if you want to have this this plus this plus this similarly this value is summation of these four this value is summation of these five this value is summation of these six no so this is how the cumulative value will be calculated and then in the bottom we have all the value summation okay this is the value and this is the quantity so you have the criteria based on the on hand value so this is the descending value report now it's up to you because in the first column of this particular report is talking about the sequence so one two how many items are the 4627 items are there i think yeah so out of these 4627 items which items are a class b class c class if you want to consider for only three classes then i have to tell to i have to suggest to the system from first first item to up to 1000 items i want to treat it as a class it's up to you okay 1000 you have to go to 1000 so and after that 1000 to 2000 second class 2000 to 3000 third class 3000 to 4627 as d class or something you can select like that so that's what we are going to do now after that it has been compiled now that compile if you open reopen it is very simple f11 control v control f11 and open you can see the status has completed okay and this is the total value total quantity and this is the value existing it is exactly matching with the descending value report okay if you scroll down the, that is the value total okay this is the value so now close this now what are the classes you want to define in the system you have to define one first class second class third class fourth class what are how many classes you would like to have those many classes to be defined and you have to give the description that's it then you are going to assign the abc abc assignment group this is very important abc group is meant for you're defining one group okay let me take new new group to be defined because i defined one compile right so this is the compile i define this compile i want to add group this is the group name and compile that i defined already this is the compile i defined right so let us find it yeah you assign that okay that is there in the list of values if you see it is there okay i selected this for this group and we define the compile and we assign to this then in this group what are the group classes you want to consider so for this group i want to consider first class then only second class 
only two it's up to you yesterday we did for four but today i am doing only two okay save it close it now i have taken this group name to the notepad this is compile and this is group name okay now see assign items okay I told you I have selected only two rights so that is the reason you are able to see here two classes only yesterday you could see four but today you can't see see now for first class up to what sequence based on this report up to what sequence a class items I told you one two thousand is a class but I would like to consider one two three as one two three as a class sequence up to three that's it save it concurrent request when you save it it will run the concurrent request up to three from three that means up to one two three sequences and that means if you go to this report if you go to top only one two three are selected means this row this row and this row and this row are nothing but a class items and remaining other than up to three a class four from four to four thousand six hundred twenty seven items are remaining class that is because you have selected only two out of two you know what is one and remaining will be second options so this is what we have and you have saved and one request might have run already what is that request can you check it out like here this is what assignments this is the request has been run it will not have any output just it is a concurrent program it will be running in the back end that's it to process over now assign items already items might have assigned because you have selected you know what is uh, what is from the descending value report you have selected what is a class and b class all the items are considered already that means already items might have assigned let us see what is the group name the group name is this let us find it okay and you already selected right so what are those items i want to see you already assigned the classes so i want to see so abc group name is this is the group name i want to find all the items which are assigned find it query put it yes i want see we have selected up to only three right so it is coming only three items remaining items are second class have you remembered we selected up to three sequence three only one two three as a class and remaining items to be b class so that's it so you can see only three items in the first class and remaining are under second class over now now this is what you are classifying the items that's it you have not done anything you are not counted but for you are preparing you are preparing for the cycle counting for cycle counting abc analysis is mandatory if you if you are not going to create abc analysis abc classification you are not classifying the items as a b c or different classes then you will not be able to do the cycle counting it is mandatory to have ABC classification for going with cycle counting. For physical counting, it is not required. That is the main difference between physical counting and cycle counting. Now, I'm going for cycle counting based on this particular ABC analysis. I'm going for counting and cycle counting. I'm creating counting. So I go ahead with creation of May. May counting, May cycle counting. I am given this name copy this and I want to put it like this R 2015 okay copy this give the description name so the difference another difference is account will be given in initial point of view book account will be given much prior to the counting procedure whereas physical counting you will be giving the number account number while passing the adjustments only but here you are giving in advance so that is the what is the account number because i told you every impact whether you are increasing the items or decreasing the items in the system as per the physical quantity you have gone to the store and you have seen the item which is having the quantity of 100 for the same item system is showing thousand that thousand should become to 100 means we have to reduce the quantity to 100 means our 900 quantities have been removed from the system but in the system for every item there is a value and that how much value has gone to 
you are reducing means your inventory material account might have credited means a negative effect so there is a positive effect in which account this is the account that you are finding out here okay i'm entering here now late days i don't want to keep late days simple and here all the sub inventories are specific sub inventory if you want to be specific for counting it's up to you all the sub inventory is up to you you can sell it all or specific if you want to be specific then you can go ahead with the specific i want to sell at all sub inventory yes it's up to you now what else i don't want unscheduled entries if you want yes display system quantity yes i want automatic recounts i don't want and yesterday we enable this okay now serial control i told you any item which is serial control item so then definitely serial control items with unique items so you have to count by each serial number so you have to enter the results you know listing cycle count listing report is the one which is showing all the items so against each item of of course item might be same but serial number is different then we are going to count by each serial number if that is the case serial number always it is special item means you have to count by each item so items are it's not serial control yes it's simply you can count number uh, count at a time for all the items i told you the difference between lot number and serial number this is very important if you if the item is serial number you have to count by serial number itself so i am not considering right now the serial number but auto schedule yes i want to schedule it and frequency by period i will select by period means i will give the time so and so date or whatever it may be count zero quantities yes i want to count why because as per system it is zero quantity but physically you might be having that means system quantity zero is wrong and i am going to update means zero quantity becomes some value that means you are increasing the inventory material account similarly you are decreasing into the adjustment account that you have given here so i want zero quantities also as per system quantity of the it it could be zero also sometimes yes but it doesn't mean that it is correct so this is what and i don't and adjustment review all adjustment discrepancy any difference you want to allow it's up to you do not allow or allow then approval required if out of tolerance means you have to limit plus or minus 10 or plus or minus 100 whether you are in, if you are crossing those limits then it a system enforces the approvals approval is approval is required the one who is having the access for approval the approval so then he will be accessing this cycle count results and he will be approving or rejecting whatever it may be in case if you are if you are going for out of tolerance never it won't ask you for approval yesterday we have seen like always so we are going to enable that that means here it is very important task because we have the question like where you are in, where you are linking the abc analysis that you did just now to this cycle count here you are going to link your abc group i know that my abc group is this is the one right select that then option i want to reinitialize i want to initiate right now okay so update classes you don't if you want to update so it won't let you you have to go to the abc groups and you have to update accordingly so whatever it may be you have done it now save it and before saving if you want to go to classes okay in the classes you can see all these classes but when you save the record see i save the record concurrent request has been run take this count Take this uh, cycle count name to the notepad. Okay. Now, a concurrent request has been run. Initiated. Okay. It is completed. Now open the cycle count. See the updated status. F11. I know the cycle count name and control f11 reopen here if you go to here then it is completed have you updated see there is an update in the status now you go to classes okay so classes are only one and two initially it was showing one to four right or something else but because you have selected the abc group abc group meant for only two classes that we did already so count per year first class i want to count 12 times that means monthly ones second class items i want to count six times means for every two months i want to count only once so save the record over now 
so as per the classes you know one and two classes in the first and second classes have been already assigned so if you go to items you can see you only those items you see first class items only three are there because we decided as per the designing value report first three items are a class and remaining items are b class so all the items are here up to 4627 items okay now close this over now how you are going to initiate how you are going to schedule the cycle counts if you are going for manual request at any point of time you can go ahead with manual request you can call your cycle count name so this is the cycle count name and find and you can add manually what is the item you are going to count i am going to count this item let us take for example i want to count this item you can go for this item then find the item you can add and in which sub inventory you are going to count i have selected organization level so it is asking all the sub inventories i am counting in wip let us say i am counting in in this okay and locator wip fin is having some locator so i am selecting that locator so in this locator in this particular sub inventory what is the quantity you have okay you are going to for this item you want to initiate save it <clears throat> when you save it currently schedule this one okay now close it manually you can go for any item at a on particular time okay so now for this item what are the entries okay select your cycle count name first i am showing showing the manual request okay i know the cycle count name is this click ok then find the results it will give a message find all open count request okay yes i want to see all you can see now okay find again one minute before coming to first open the cycle count first initiate sorry you have created just now you created cycle account open your cycle account f11 what's the cycle account name okay this is the cycle account okay go to tools perform full cycle account first perform full cycle account when you perform full cycle count this is the request set perform full cycle count is the request that is having three different requests remember it's very important and it's very important for interview perform full cycle count is a request set which is having three requests which are generate automatic schedule request and generate count requests then cycle count listing this listing report is very important because user is going to the person who is counting in the inventory in the storeroom he is going to take the print of this report and based on this report only is going to enter the cycle account entries okay so before entering you have to enter the parameters because every report should have the parameters and should be entered so our cycle count name is i'm not counting all cycle count right so i have only specific cycle count so this is the cycle count name uh, we are going to work so click ok okay now let us see include control items yes control item means serial control item lot control item lpn control items okay all the items i want to consider click ok now coming to the second report and i don't want all cycle counts only my cycle count i want and here my cycle count is this and today i'm running and include ray counts no sub inventories okay display serial numbers yes display online quantities yes i want Display on hand means in the system, what is the quantity? It will show you in the output. Submit. Submitted. Okay. That means it is initiated. Now we go to view request. There are concurrent requests which will be running. See? Performs. Sorry. Perform. Full cycle count. Generate automatic schedule. Then one more request is cycle count request. So let us complete this. But we forgot to cycle count listing. This is the report very important. But we forgot to print the results, right? Let me tell you. 
tools perform full cycle count when you go for this here you are entering the parameters like this include yes control items yes but we forgot to print the results that I want to show you again display and quantity is yes okay next next okay now here if you drag it to right hand side save output I want to save the output okay if you if you won't enable this then it won't print any output so that is the reason now in real time what happens if you want to schedule this cycle count on particular day then you have to schedule by going to schedule by once or periodically and so and so date it's up to you periodically means start date end date and you want to repeat for rerun every day it's up to you like that you have to select it is a, it is entry question also how do you schedule any concurrent request or any program or any job periodically this is the procedure once means on particular day tomorrow it has to be run you have to select once and you have to select the tomorrow's date that's it 21st may that's it and time also you can set at the time time it is very simple when you click the list of it will ask the time also time also you can set it up okay this is how you will run but right now i am going to submit submit it so close this and view request and find out you can see the requests being run so once you refresh once completed see the output of that is output you got the output go to tools copy file so it will be open in the browser in the browser you can see already this listing this listing all these listings okay when you are counting for this month it has considered these are the items so this listing report should be printed okay user will go with this print to the storeroom and checks these items only only these items system is suggesting these items to be counted first let us go with these items only after counting physically then in this paper on this paper you have to write the results of counted how what is the count quantity reference who has counted serial number any serial number you have to write it okay who has counted what is the lpn number what is the lot number where it is existing and all these things we have to write it okay then write it and it bring this paper to update in the system okay this is what so let us think let us uh, think that think myself as a user so i am going to print this and i will go to storeroom and i counted all these items i have written here after writing i came back to system right now okay now i am closing i am doing what i am going to do is by taking that listing report now i will go for cycle count entries okay or uh, manually i initiate for these items what are those items in the listing report okay i want to initiate for this okay let me take this item and my cycle count is this find and after that already i initiated for this item second item i want to initiate it for the initiate for this in which sub inventory i want to initiate this for this item in again if this is the sub inventory and this is the locator and which lot these are many lots and lot control item this is the lot i have a lot here see what is the lot we have oh yeah he, here it is this is the lot number okay one iphone one five one iphone let me count as per this listing report one five six seven one then iphone zero five two okay press tab okay how many items are there but let us see we are going to initiate for this item and for you want to initiate for this item also it's up to you like this you have to go ahead with this is how i have to make use of listing report this i am counting in uh, let us say in which double ip sub inventory now what is the locator combinations then percentage fine you have and this this time this is also lot control number yes this is a lot and there is a tag this is the I want to select this and is it not existing? Okay, this is this is this is tag number, not uh, lot number. Okay, 
forget about this let us say this is not the lot and I am going to select one particular lot okay this lot I am going to select now I want to initiate save it close it now now go to cycle count entries you select your cycle count find it is, it is asking find all open count requests yes you'll get all the items okay but I am going to count for certain items because so see how many items are there this one two three four five five see all these items are existing in the listing report have you observed this is how it is very important this listing report is depending you know based on this listing report we are going to enter the cycle count entries only these items the first item second item one two three four five five items so we have how many items five items see one two three four five that's it now system is showing all the information now we are going to enter for this item system is showing yeah for this lot unit of measure yards okay now tell me physically you might have counted right go to cycle i told you this report i have written already here i have written already here so based on these results what are the count quantity you entered here e count quantity you entered here by seeing the physical inventory the same count you have to enter here because that's what physical count is. if that count is matching with the system quantity then no issues no adjustment will be passed in case whatever the value you are entering here let me take as thousand ten thousand items are there okay so i entered count as ten thousand system quantity might be zero then you are going to increase this ten thousand values 10,000 value means 10,000 multiplied by the unit cost of the item that much value has been increased that means that is going to be positive in the inventory material account so at the same time negative will go to this account that's it this is how for second item you might have entered like for this the item having this lot number and I could see 5,000 items because cycle this listing report is showing here for second item 5,000 here so i am going there and updating here similarly for this year uh, let us say 4500 okay for this item let me say it is 7700 okay let me say for this item we have again 10005 okay now save the record when you save the record done already everything has been done now whatever you have done let us see cycle count entries you have done now go to approve counts you have to find your site because you have selected always so when you select always approval is required so i am going to my counting then find query count pending for approval only it's up to you all will be shown yes okay but you are concerned about your items these are the i5 items which are pending for approval so you have to take you want to reject something yeah reject you want to approve something approve it you want to recount you can't initiate recount you are asking user to recount yes i want this item to be recounted so it has to be approved yes it has to be approved. you have to take action for all lines then only you can go for if you do if you do for only two items it won't it won't so still it will wait for system will wait for all the items uh, with the results so you have to take a result like you have to take a decision like either rejected or approved or recount you are initiating you have to take a decision if you keep something none it won't complete now save it Okay, adjustment process have you got it now what are the adjustments have been processed now let us go back to cycle count let us see the adjustment that have been passed for my cycle count my cycle count can be found from the list of values this is the cycle count open okay now go to tools here cycle count adjustment report entries and adjustment report I want to see from here you can you can submit a request what's up inventory i want all then leave it blank today 
okay display serial numbers but i have not considered serial numbers items okay leave it click okay submitted request view request find out see the output once it is completed completed see the output this is the output tools copy file it will be open in the browser and here you can see all the items which are considered see this is the item for this item this is the value adjustment okay and after that for this sub inventory and for this item and for this item these are the adjustments because you entered all these items quantities right okay that's it all the report will be shown this is very important this is what the adjustment report will be shown to the finance department saying that boss i have counted the system count is wrong so we updated accordingly with this might have created some entries in the account that i have given in the cycle counting definition so check it out whether this adjustment is correct or not because physically we are having this much item this many in these many items so this is the value adjustment i have done for that particular account that has been entered in the cycle count this is what full cycle count. That's it. You have any questions?